In this video, I'm going to go over how to use the GitHub CLI to interact with your GitHub repository when working on LaTeX projects in NeoVim. So you might be working on a project which you have hosted on a repository on GitHub, and you would like to use the issues to save different issues that you're sort of not finished with on your project um, in order to stay organized. Now, if it's just you working on a project, you can do this easy enough just by creating some new markdown, say like a to-do list and creating some list of things that you have left to do. Um, that's a reasonable way to stay organized. Um, however, once you're interacting with others and you're collaborating on a project with more than one author, a single to-do list can sometimes get quite cumbersome Sometimes you have uh, quite separate issues which really need a bunch of back and forth um, to, to sort out. And if you're doing that remotely, um, it can be convenient to do this all through the GitHub, um, the resources provided by GitHub using their issues. So to demonstrate how to do this, uh, let's, right now I'm in this um, project, this given project called explanation.tech. Um, and I've got a few files in here. I'm not collaborating with anyone on this, but I'll just use this to demonstrate. So say I want to create a new issue, and this is something I might have back and forth about with another author. So one way to do this is to go into my GitHub repository in a browser, go into my repositories, find the project, um, and then go into issues. Right now I just have one issue. I can look at that issue, it tells me something that I need to do. I could leave some follow-up comment, and this is where you're going to be able to have your comment stream back and forth with an author, with your other authors, um, on a given topic, whatever it happens to be. Um, alternatively, you can open a new issue, right, and raise some new concern, which all the different authors can interact with. And then once an issue is finished, like once you decide, okay, this is what we're going to do about a given situation, you can close it. And then when you go back to your issues, um, unless you search for all your closed issues, it'll just show all your open issues and you can see sort of what remains unresolved. So that's one way to do it, just all through the browser. But it's convenient to be able to just do all of this inside Vim and that's what the GitHub CLI lets you do. So to show how I've integrated this, um, I'm gonna open which key with the spacebar and I've created this uh, menu H for GitHub CLI. So let's open that up. And there's a few different commands we can run. So one is we can list issues. That's gonna be a common one. So let's see what issues we have live. Okay, so it's gonna look onto the GitHub repository and it just has this single issue, number one, re-outline intro. Um, and so I might want to um, create, say, a new issue. So one thing I could do is I could just run a new command here, gh issue create. Okay, that's one way to proceed. Um, but I've also created a shortcut, which I'll demonstrate. Um, so, and it's right under I. So let's do that, I. Okay, and it basically all it does is it opens up this uh, float term, this little terminal in the floating window, and it runs this gh issue create command, which I was about to do anyways. Okay, so new issue, and it's asking me what the title is. So let's say um, uh, start, second section, okay. And then it'll say, okay, do you wanna add something to the body? So you're not required to add any body text. Sometimes the title says it all, um, and that, in this case, that's true. However, just to demonstrate how to proceed, um, if you hit E, um, it will launch another instance of Vim, and I can just now use all the same Vim commands to write, uh, this is where my message go okay um, and let's save that space w and we'll quit out of this space q okay so now we're back inside uh, our original terminal and you can do some other stuff you can view it in the browser sometimes that's convenient and that will pop open a browser for you to see but in this case i'm just going to submit it and that's it so now i should have a second issue if i go back to my github over here so let's check that and sure enough, here's my second issue. Okay, so that is a way so that while you're in, in flow writing and you think, oh, that's an issue, you don't wanna to have to necessarily 
go open a browser, sort through, you know, find your repository, sign in, all of that, and then create an issue, you can just immediately bring it up, create the issue, you know, maybe just add the title for now, just so you can remind yourself for later to follow that up later. Um, and then control T to close the browser or to close the terminal. Um, and you're right back where you were. Um, you don't have to interrupt your workflow in the way you would otherwise to use the um, GitHub issues feature. Okay, so that um, is a little bit about how to interact with the GitHub features. Um, I should say that it can still be useful to do everything or to do at least some things in the browser. So for instance, you know, reading through the whole exchange that you might have had with an author, um, maybe that is convenient to do inside the browser. Um, my thought here is just that you don't have to go into the browser in order to create an issue um, interrupting your workflow too dramatically. Okay, let's go back here. So say, say I um, forget some of the commands or I wanna learn more about what um, this, this little CLI can do. Um, so I've included both help and reference. Right now help is pretty sparse, so let's hit that. Um, that's all it gives me, pretty, uh, pretty bare. Um, okay, let's close out of that. Um, and let's go back in here. By contrast, let's open up reference. Let's hit R. Okay, and this has a lot of stuff. Um, you can scroll all the way up and you can find all kinds of different things. So, um, you know, when you first set this up for yourself, you also to do a GitHub auth login and um, I provide installation instructions on my um, config repository, which um, I'll have linked down in the, the description below. Um, but lots and lots of other stuff. So, you know, maybe I want to remember how to um, sort of view an issue. So say, okay, here's how to close an issue. I would say GH issue close and then do the number. Okay, that's kind of useful. Let's, yeah, we, we might do that. Um, or you can reopen a closed issue. That might be useful. Or you can check its status or you can just view a given issue given its number. Okay, so let's do that. So let's remember view and close. Pretty easy. Um, okay, so let's um, now to do this, I'm just going to open. Well, let's start by um, just listing our issues. Okay, so we got two issues now. So let's do gh uh, issue view and then let's do one. Okay, and it says, you know, this is the little paragraph I included and and that's it. Um, let's now do gh issue close two, since that was not a very um, important issue anyways. Okay, and it says closed second issue. Um, and let's do control T to get out of here. All right, and let's check that it did in fact close that issue. Yes, okay, so it disappears. Um, of course, if I want to see all issues, um, I can search closed. There's my single closed issue. So it hasn't disappeared entirely. Um, I could still reopen it if I wanted to. Um, it will keep that number two, and so the next one I create will be number three, and so on. So anyways, this, this is some of the basic functionality um, which the CLI provides and which I've um, included inside WitchKey. So in order to see how to customize this little, um, this little menu down here, it's gonna be the standard thing. So let's go back into my repo. Um, okay, so here's my uh, config for NeoVim. And let's open WitchKey, so Control-P, and let's write, there it is, WitchKey. Okay, and let's scroll down to H menu. There it is. Okay, and these are all the little commands um, that I've included. Um, and let's say you want to think, well, you know, where did I come up with any of that? Um, it's just a combination of the commands for float term. So if you look up the float term um, uh, GitHub page, it'll provide all kinds of other commands you might run for, for float term. And then it's basically telling, it's saying, okay, open, use flow term, which is just a floating terminal, and then run this command, say gh help. 
Okay, where did GH help come from? Well, let's go over here to the, if you go to um, clighubcom slash manual, uh, they have this nice page. You can look up all these different things that you can do with it. So for instance, something that I haven't covered at all is pull requests, which I'm assuming is not really necessary for collaborating on academic projects since I'm assuming your collaborators will have full access to the repository and so they won't need to run pull requests, pull requests the way that you might for uh, software development. Um, but nevertheless, you know, you can look through here if there's things like that you want to include, you know, it'll have, say, to create a gist, it'll demonstrate, okay, this is how the command goes, you know, um, it'll give some examples and so on. So that is where that all comes from. Um, so yeah, feel free to add new little bits and bobs, uh, however you like. And um, yeah, hopefully this provides a useful feature um, for collaborating on LaTeX projects uh, inside NeoVim with multiple authors.